Mowdy there, Kerbisnots. Welcome to today's how-to gameplay video. Today it's all about rendezvousing. Dr. Rendezvous, how to meet objects in orbit. Now I attempted at least a couple dozen times to make this video because there's this game is just so buggy. It's it's these are game breaking bugs too. These this game should not have released early access with these bugs, okay? Two of which I'm gonna talk about right now. So the first bug I encountered that was game breaking is the RCS thrusters. Now, it took me a long time to figure this out. I was launching this first rendezvous rocket into space and I get it there, this payload into orbit, and I couldn't I couldn't use the RCS thruster blocks. It would just make me spiral and it's because only one, sometimes maybe two of the four thruster blocks would work and the other two or three wouldn't. And I finally figured out that if they're not on an actual monopropellant tank like they are right now, that can cause the bug to happen because these things are supposed to crossfeed. These tanks are supposed to crossfeed, so no matter where you put these thruster blocks, they should work, all right? But they weren't working unless I put them directly on this, this tank. But then once I got it in orbit with the thruster blocks working, I figured out that it wasn't taking my vessel in the direction. This is another annoying bug right here, this freaking fairing. It wasn't placing and propelling my my vehicle, my vessel, in the direction I wanted to go. And it turns out it's because in this game, if you push the delete key, that switches you from flight mode to docking mode. And it used to be in KSP, KSP1, at least for the versions I played, there was no such thing as a docking mode for your RCS thruster blocks, okay? And I don't know why they made it more complicating now that you have to push delete and it and it's different keys now. It used to be W to go forward. Now it's like Q or E. I can't remember which key it is. So that has become more complicated. And I think that's needless. Although I could be wrong. Maybe in the future I'll find it helpful. But as of right now, I just find it really annoying. Okay, so we have a rocket on the pad. And normally the first thing you want to do is go to map view with the M key. And you want your vessel that you're rendezvousing with to be somewhat behind the Kerbal Space Station because you want to launch and intercept with it and be pretty close to it. However, that's not always going to be the case depending on its orbital path, like its plane. Uh, so we're going to just do the best we can by time zooming. All right, about right there is good. We're going to be a little out ahead of it, but that's fine. It's not going to really matter that much. So this is going to be a night launch. Awesome. Make sure your SAS is on and spacebar to launch or just hit go. Let go. It's our arc into the east or 90 degrees. Uh, it's not working. That's another bug. Bring it back. All right, launch attempt number two. Go ahead and delete that debris. And look, all right. So here's another bug with the game. Sometimes the objects in orbit won't orbit the planet. Well, fast forward, watch, it's just gonna stay there. We can see the trajectory is still moving. So this is a, this is a pretty annoying bug that also prevented me from doing this video. All right, so here we go. Attempt number, I don't even know because I lost count. I don't know why it's on this weird camera. Let's get it to the normal one. Auto, here we go. Let's check map view, moment of truth. Is our orbital thing moving? Hey, it's moving, look at that. Okay, so the way I, I worked around that bug, look, we still have this bug, so I'm gonna put SAS off. Um, so the way I, I worked around this bug is, is I say after I put this this vessel on orbit, I exited to the Kerbal Space Center, and then I exit, I quit and saved, and then I didn't go straight to the VAB from putting this thing in orbit because that would cause the bugs we just encountered. So so long as my RCS thruster blocks are working, we should be able to rendezvous this thing, God willing. So let's go ahead and just bring it around to us. about right here, right there-ish. Okay, and let's launch this sucker. 
SAS back on. Horizontally, put us on an orbital trajectory. Gravity turn. Apoapsis up to 90,000 meters, and we'll cut the engine. Seven, eight, nine. All right. Jettison our fairing. There she goes. We're going to deploy our solar panels. Even though you don't need them at this point in early access, because you always have full electrical charge, I guess. And we'll just coast up to our apogee here, and we'll do another burn. So. So warp to about right here. Look at that, we're gonna come pretty close to our target craft and burn again to put us in orbit. I'm gonna assume you know how to do this part of the process if you watch the tutorials and watched our previous how-to video on getting to the MUN. This is just next in the series. Okay, that's pretty much circularized right there. All right. So yeah, see, waiting for this craft to come close to uh, flying over the Kerbal Space Center um, puts us on a pretty close path with them, but it's not perfect as you can see, and I did that deliberately. Its orbital plane, the gray line, the gray circle, is on a different plane at a different angle than our current trajectory, our blue circle, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to even up those planes in order to get on the same orbital plane and rendezvous with the craft eventually. So the first thing you want to do is you want to click on your target intercept vehicle that you're trying to trying to rendezvous with. So just right click, hit set as target or target if you're French. And you'll see these things pop up. Don't worry about those yet. We'll talk about those in a second. What you want to look for is um a percentage where is the percentage there it is okay it's, it's kind of stuck between so you have one on your periap side and on your apoapsis side and it's four point negative 4.4 .4 degrees you can see it right here and also right here we want that to be 0, 0.0 degrees that will put us on the same orbital plane okay or angle or tilt or whatever you want to call it so how you fix that is you set up a manu maneuver node where our two planes intersect, which is at that degree line. So just click on it, create a new maneuver plan, click on it. And you know, there's a, if, it, if it's negative, it's negative number like we are, we're doing, it's actually it's up, you pull up on the maneuver node. And if it's a positive, then you just pull down or you can just figure it out by doing what I just did. Just pull up or down and take it to zero. Now you can see we can't get it to zero. The lowest we can get it to is negative 0.01, that's pretty good for our purposes, but uh, I'll show you what you can do here in a second to get that to 0.0%. So once you have that, go ahead and warp to maneuver and click on your SAS maneuver control. All right, that'll point your rocket where it needs to go in order to make this burn successful. And we'll be burning here in 23 seconds. Let's fast forward. 
Here we go. Three, two, one, burn. And we ran out of propellant, so we're gonna jettison that. And cut it. Let's see how that looks. And delete. That put us at negative 0.7. So we don't have time to make this new maneuver because we're about to pass it. So we're just gonna do it at the next one on the opposite side of Kerbin, which is the planet. And we will click on it just like that. It's probably easier to see in the daylight anyway and create another maneuver plan. We're just gonna do this again. I hate how that keeps popping up, man. That is so annoying. All right, click on it. Again, it's negative, so we're gonna push up and it should take it to zero and it did and you want these like on the on the ends that will put it at the closest 0, 0.0 actually because if you have them over here by the maneuver node like you have one here on this side and one on the opposite side it's not gonna get you as close as it would be if they were on the opposite on the left side and right side like right here so just trust me go with that all right, and we can once again warp to this maneuver, make sure it's back on maneuver down here. We're out ahead of our target vehicle, that's fine. We're not worried about that yet. And let's warp a little closer to it. And get ready to burn. Two, one, burn. Off. That should put us at zero. Okay, yeah, we're at zero, all right. Cool. So we can go ahead and delete that orbital debris right there. Next thing is you want to get close enough to your vehicle that you can dock with it. We're out ahead right now. And basically we're at the same altitude. You can see the blue line and the white line, which is our target. That is on the same orbit. So this is basically how it's gonna be. We're never going to get close to it if we just keep this same thing. We're a little bit on the inside, which means uh, we're just actually going to be pulling away further from it. So what we need to do is we need to take the outside track. It's like a racing, like NASCAR or whatever. The outside track is the slowest lane for our purposes. If you're on the inside, you're going to go faster and you're going to pull away. So we want to go out. In order to go out, we actually need to speed up. It's weird. Yeah, it's one of those weird things about orbital, orbital mechanics, all right? So we uh, will do a create maneuver node anywhere you want, doesn't matter, and just prograde. Prograde, and this is where you need to keep an eye on these yellow and white um, nodes. Well, I don't know what you call them, but um, this is basically foreshadowing our intercept range and speed with our target. So just hover over them, and if you left, or sorry, if you right click, they should stay. And I'm just going to move this actually, and they go away once you click on this maneuver node, which is a maneuver plan, which is annoying because you have to keep clicking on it. So just prograde and see if we prograde, they go further and further apart. So retrograde and bring them closer and closer together and they're coming together. Boom. Now this is on the next lap. This isn't right now because as you can see, it's showing them that we're gonna be together, but right now we're still apart. That, that's just one orbit around. When we come back, we should be uh, we should be together. That's that, that, that's that I, which I assume stands for intercept, uh, colon, two means it's the second time around. The one means these are, when, we, when these two craft get to this point here in, I don't know, maybe like uh, five, six minutes, this is where we're gonna be at. I'm gonna be way up here. Our target vessel is gonna be back here. But at the next time around, the I, colon two that's going to be whoop, one time around and this is where we're at and it's showing us at a distance of 733 meters so less than a click at 332 meters a second that's pretty fast that doesn't matter i mean i rather have i rather have a close distance which 733 is pretty good we might be able to do a little bit better but i'm not worried about it i'm not so much worried about speed we can only slow down when we get there we have enough propellant um so for our purposes, we're just gonna keep it as is. And I don't think we're gonna get much better than that, so we're just gonna keep it right there and we'll warp to this maneuver plan. SAS, maneuver node. You can also do a prograde because that's all we set up the maneuver plan to be is prograde. 
get a little bit closer to it. All right, and let's get lay to light this thing. Two, one. Oh, I already went way too far past it. So let's just bring it back. So this is where we'll use RCS. We'll flip this around. Actually, we'll just stay prograde, that's fine. We'll do RCS on. And I think it's, well, we have to hit delete, of course, because now we're in docking mode. So it's the Q key they have it set up. And I don't think you can change this yet. So I'm just hitting the Q key to push us backwards, retrograde. It's bringing us closer together, closer together, and boom. So when we come back around, we should be at a distance of, let's turn RCS off and SAS off as well. Stupid curve, get off my screen, bro. 262 meters and 331 meters per second. That's really good. So we're gonna time warp a little bit closer to that. Time warp to this point. Change our view to horizon. You wanna set, now that we're gonna intercept, you wanna set your little velocity icon over here. Click on it to not surface to target now that we had set up that target. Remember we clicked on our best one, hit target. So that's what we want. We want target and we want to go retrograde, right? Because we're going to fly past our target if we don't meet their velocity. So re target and then retrograde, All right? Just trust me on that. So we're going to do a retrograde burn just barely enough to bring down our target velocity to zero. All right. See if we can find it in the sky. We're not gonna be that far from it. Should be pretty close to us. There it is. All right. Let's start slowing down a bit, bringing this to zero. Keep it coming. This is at this point, once we pass it, we'll start pulling away from it again. So we, once we reach this point in our orbit, we want to be at zero with our target velocity. That means we won't be moving away from it at all. Where'd it go? There it is. You know, that's good enough. Once you get close to zero, you can switch over to your RCS again and just use that to gently bring you down to zero. RCS off. Boom. So now we are coasting. We're not pulling away. We're not speeding up. We're not slowing down. It's not going further from us. We're at, we're just stuck together. So now you need to point it at your target. So hit target down here. It will point you right at it and use your, you can use your thrust. That's fine. Just do it gently. Don't go past like at this distance, you really don't want to go past about 10 meters per second. And if you're getting bored waiting to get there, you just fast forward a bit. But as you're coasting to it, go ahead and once again hit hit retrograde up here. And just start slowing down now that we're coming up on 100 meters separation. You don't really want to use your thrust when you're pointing right directly at it when it gets really close, especially now when this game's so buggy. So we're going to hit RCS again. And we're just going to use our RCS to gently bring us to zero. All right, and it's already facing us with the docking nose, so that just happened to be a happy coincidence. You'll notice these vehicles are twins. All right, we're getting close, we're getting close. We'll go ahead and zero it out right now. All right, target is zero. We are dancing, flying together as a flock. RCS is off, and now we just wanna face it again. Once again, target. All right, and I hate how this keeps popping up as well. That's annoying. I have a lot of them complaints, I guess. Okay, so now I'm going to turn off this SAS. No control, but I'm gonna keep SAS on. We're just, we're have, we have our stability on. That's all that we want. RCS is on, and we are going to slowly pitch us at the correct angle so we can dock this thing successfully. Now you have to bear with me because I'm not used to these controls with KSP2. They're a little bit different from KSP1. So 
I need to figure out which way is pitch and which way is not. That might have to switch between controls, actually. Yeah, I do. That's really annoying. I never had to do that before. Gosh, I do not like that at all. Devs, why did you do that? So it's all about just lining it up, which is very difficult for someone like me to do in a game where I've never had to use two different types of stability controls with the RCS system. <laughs> this is, oh, are we going into nighttime too? Oh gosh, no pressure. Ah, uh, not that way, not that way. Nope, don't want to roll. Nope, don't want to roll. How do I bring us back? All right, I'm, I'm confused now. This is not good. Normal mode? No, we want docking mode. RCS off. Let it just calm down. Calm down. Why aren't you going the way I want you to. For the love of Pete, do what I want. Do what I want you to do. Go up. Go up. All right. It doesn't want to go up. <laughs> there, that's up, I think. Yeah. I think W is up now. W used to be forward. Now W is up. That is, I hate that so much. And I don't think you can really change much of these yet. Okay, I think I got this. I think I got this. And I think we're at the right angle pitch for the most part. So I shouldn't have to switch back using the delete key to the other set of things. Hopefully I don't forget what these controls are between now and <laughs> a few seconds from now. Because my memory is terrible. All right. All right. Looks like I will have to use a little bit of different pitch here in a second. So we want to go. Uh, we're going in the nighttime. Cripes. I'm going to have to fast forward today for all of our purposes. See, we're still at 0.2 meters a second. It's because we've got so many different angles going on. I don't know which one they are. I need my joystick. <laughs> okay, we're at point one. That's good for now. Let's, let's warp to the daylight. Gosh. We're gonna be pretty far apart, I bet. Yeah, I don't even know where it's at now. It got 400 meters away from us. Awesome. Okay, so back to target mode. We're already on it. Go to, let, let's even out at zero meters per second. Retrograde, turn off your RCS. Actually, keep it on because you're so close to zero anyway. And use the E key. Nope. R key? Nope. All right. And close enough. Okay. RCS off, point it at your target to get back there, and use your thrust since we're so far away now. Yeah. And retrograde, oh, that's prograde, retrograde. And we're coming in hot, so bring it down quickly. A little closer. We're going to have to do this all again. Switch over. Slow us down, slow us down, slow us down. Okay. Bring it down to zero. Okay. Click your SAS stability on. And turn off your RCS. Just point up. Yeah, you have to have RCS to point us in the right direction, I guess. Oh, no, you don't. 
you can hit the delete key and just go to normal flight mode and we can kind of set us our, ourselves up for success without using our rcs yet not only does that save us our mono propellant but also it doesn't push us around in, in angles we don't want to go yet so we want to kind of line this up with that angle so i'm imagining our vessel right up here looking down on it That way we don't have to go through the headache we just went through. That's pretty, oops, that's pretty close. That's pretty close of an angle. All right, so now we can do um, back to docking mode and RCS on, and I believe it's W brings us up. Nope, that's down, there we go. It will change depending on how you oriented your rocket. And we wanna go back a little bit, so that would be Q in this case now. A little bit more S key. We want to go to the right a little bit, so that would be D key now. And go forward just a little bit, which would be E key. E key to the left a little bit. All right. And let's make sure we know which way will stop us from going up, which would be W, W, W to the left, and forward, which would be E key. Don't come in too fast. Control yourself a little bit up. To the right, a little bit up, up, to the right, and I guess we were close enough it gave it to us. So that was actually much harder than KSP-1 because I'm just not used to this new control layout. And that's how you dock in orbit on different planes, which is something you'll need to learn to do if you want to ever dock two vessels together. But also for, I would say, half of what we covered will also come in handy when you want to rendezvous or intercept with other bodies like Mimis that are on, you know, Mimis is the second moon of Kerbin that's on a different orbital plane than what Kerbin is on. The moon is on, you know, the same plane that we covered in our previous video, but Mimis is tilted at an, at, a, at an incline or decline or whatever. And that's what we're going to be doing in our next video. Until that time, Godspeed.